Regardless of the engines that you're repairing, you're going to come across the need to use gasket makers and sealants. And finding that they've cured in the tube, especially when they're nearly full, is not only incredibly inconvenient, but when some of them cost up to $60 per tube, it's incredibly expensive too. Therefore, in today's video, I'll show you a way to ensure they never cure in the tube again, for free and to stop those plastic caps splitting as well. Over the years I've tried many ways to stop this happening but none of them were ideal. The first one was storing them in the fridge and although this did help to a certain extent many of them don't flow very well when they're cold and also have a strong chemical smell to them as well. The second method I tried was using some Vaseline inside the cap and although this was better in some ways, it was not only very messy, but you risk contaminating the sealant and therefore your engine repair failing. And of course you have to waste the first portion of that sealant from the tube to eliminate any of that Vaseline. And it might not seem like very much, but when you do that 10 or 15 times, you can lose a considerable amount of sealant just to waste. Using Vaseline never really worked for me. I found I was just replacing one problem and frustration with another. Ultimately I ended up changing all of my sealants where possible to neutral cure and although this meant it took longer for the adhesive to set up it meant that it was less likely to cure in the tube. Or so I thought. I came back to a half used tube one day thinking that it was going to be okay only to find the cap had split and therefore the sealant had cured once again. An elegant and simple solution I came up with was not only the simplest of them all, there was no mess, there was no fridge needed, it only takes just a few seconds, never cures in the tube and you don't waste any sealant either. All you need is a rubber inner tube and a means to form it into a disc that can then be placed inside the cap and acts as a simple gasket. This therefore creates an airtight seal and it stops the carrier from evaporating. Why I didn't think of this earlier I don't know, but of all the tubes that I've done this to, not a single one has cured and it's been the cleanest, most fuss-free method of them all. And if you want to use the fine tip applicator that comes with a sealant, the best way is to simply unscrew it after use replace the cap with the gasket inside it onto the tube, let that sealant inside the nozzle cure, and then use some compressed air to blow it out. And of course, although this is wasteful, much better to waste a small amount in that nozzle than to have that whole tube cure up. Of course, the best of both worlds would be to machine a cap, have one with an applicator tip built in and a lid that screws on the top. And in this instance, that's exactly what I've done here. And unsurprisingly, the tube I've done this to is of course my favorite sealant as well. And I've put a link in the description below if you want to purchase yourself a tube. And I did so using a mini metal lathe. And not only is it incredibly affordable, but it's also very accurate as well. Not only has it opened up a world of possibilities to be able to make parts that are no longer available from the manufacturer, but also be able to make tooling as well. And I've got this video here for you to watch next, which is testing, setting up, and reviewing that exact lathe. 